Hey guys, the southern Peruvian Amazon basin is truly one of the last easily accessible virgin tropical rainforests in the world. Now this is our experience staying at the Incaterra Reserva Amazonica Lodge located adjacent to the lush tropical Tambopata National Reserve in Peru. Now to the Incaterra Amazonia Resort in the Amazon. Um, it's looking pretty awesome. We're going to be taking a boat there. It's around 20 minutes. So, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing the, both the Amazon River and as well as the resort. So let's get to it. All aboard! If you're staying anywhere in the Amazon rainforest, chances are you'll be arriving by a river boat such as this one. Now after a short 10 minute drive from the Porta Maldonado airport, we arrived at this small harbor and all the guests piled into the riverboat with our carry-on bags. Due to weight restrictions, they actually have a spare locker for those with larger luggages, which we absolutely opted into. Now for those of you who are wondering, the boat ride wasn't choppy at all, it was actually very smooth and in just a few minutes we arrived at our destination in the Amazon rainforest. As you can imagine, the first thing we did after check-in was rush to our room, enjoying the incredible nature and atmosphere along the way. Hey guys, so I'm going to give you a little tour of our casita here at Incaterra Amazonia. Um, just to give you some perspective, there's actually three tiers of rooms. So there's ones that are on the riverfront, ones that are one, I guess, casita back from the riverfront. And then at the very back of the resort, there's actually suites that have pools. So depending on your budget, there's a number of different options for you. Um, thankfully, we ended up getting one. I think that had the river view, if you can see here. There's Sarah just swinging in her little like hammock, which is super cool. So most casitas have actually hammocks, which I think are very popular. I've seen pretty much everyone in little hammocks, king size bed. Yes, ours is a little bit messy right now. Um, they all have these like window um, screens for the windows, protection for bugs, which is really helpful. Um, full showers. separate room for bathroom and each person has their own like little hook thing every single casita is relatively the same size um, and they all have again spectacular views of the water and there you have it after we finally settled in we enjoyed an amazing dinner and had an opportunity to hop on a night safari cruise where we saw some incredible wildlife including a caiman aka a mini alligator before heading to bed hotel we just woke up and got ready if we have a few excursions planned for today including a canopy walk so we're very excited to do that don't be afraid without a doubt one of the must-do excursions in the amazon is the canopy walk after a short 15 minute hike through the lush tropical rainforest, we arrived at the Canopy Tower. We are now going up on the Canopy Walk here, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, like it's incredible. So we're gonna walk up like hundreds of stairs right now and we're gonna basically get to the top and have some pretty awesome views. Wow. Lots of um, real, really high. As you can see, the views you will take in are incredible across a network of towers, bridges, and platforms. Also, it's 100% safe and not a problem for those who are afraid of heights like myself. Also, for those bird lovers, don't forget to be on the lookout for different birds such as toucans, woodpeckers, trigons, among many others. We saw a number of different birds and other animals, including even monkeys up in the tree canopies. After the canopy walk and a few other hiking related activities, we saw something we've never experienced before and that was being able to see the Milky Way. Don't forget to take a few snaps of the incredible night sky with almost zero light pollution, which I'm not used to coming from Toronto. Alright, so the drone flying here in the Amazon is amazing, there's tons of satellites, so the your drone will be able to pick up a home spot pretty easily. 
And there's also amazing canopy that you can fly the drone over and you can actually probably spot some pretty cool boats going by as well. So I'm gonna fly right now and show you guys what I'm, what I'm gonna be able to get, so. We are now leaving our casita and I'm going to take you through a stroll of the entire property. As you can see, the entire property only takes a few minutes to walk through and is connected by a beautiful pathway of wood stumps. Now the spa was right down here and being spa lovers, we had an opportunity to book a treatment in between excursions, which was absolutely incredible. Now this pathway separates the casitas from the rest of the services in the hotel including the reception and the restaurant and bar area. Now welcome to your dining area in the jungle. One of our favorite parts of staying in Inkateria was the three course meals you get served and of course the happy hour between 5 to 7 p.m. with amazing exotic drinks. Just so you know, all the meals are made out of organic and fresh ingredients, so you'll be eating super clean throughout the week. Our final excursion was probably my favorite experience so far, which included a boat ride to a fruit farm combined with a jungle hike and river paddle. We ended up seeing the world famous kapok trees known for being absolutely gigantic. At the fruit farm, we got to see real cocoa trees along with a selection of fresh fruit which was all grown organically. Please do not forget to taste all the fruit, it's a one in a lifetime experience. During the river paddle, we saw some amazing wildlife including caimans, turtles, and if you're lucky you'll definitely see some piranhas swimming around. But don't be scared, they don't actually eat caimans, they're apparently, according to our tour guide, very um, docile creatures. Hey guys, it's our last day here at the Incaterra um, Amazon Riverfront Resort. Um, before we leave, I would highly recommend and overall I wanted to provide you guys with three excellent tips. The first is that there's no internet service here, so make sure you send off all those important emails as well as talk to anyone you need to talk to while you're at the airport uh, before you get here. Two, make sure to book a riverfront casita, mainly because you'll have a lot more privacy than getting one of the middle or back ones, which are a little bit less expensive. Um, as you can see, there's less traffic that actually goes by the ones right at the river, whereas the middle ones, you'll have a lot of high traffic and essentially the front half of your casitas are open. So you won't have a huge amount of privacy if you do book one. If you happen to book one, book number 33, that was where we stayed and we were at the very end and we had a ton of privacy. Um, third, um, an important tip is to bring, um, even though it's super hot here, make sure to bring some clothing like pants and sweaters because at night it could get pretty chilly, especially in the, the dry season, which is um, when we stayed, which is in June. Um, finally, the food is absolutely fantastic. So if you're curious to know, like if they have any vegan options, vegetarian options or anything, like, they have everything. So don't worry about that. And I think that was the, the most important tips that we wanted to provide. And again, this is an amazing spot. So if you're considering booking it, from what we understand, it's the nicest one on the, the Amazon type river in this neck of the woods. So. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, please subscribe to our brand new channel. We'll be posting other vlogs on Peru and other exciting places to visit on a regular basis.